I'm using network X, creating node, linking nodes. Yeah, I want to add attributes. Assume the attributes will be yeah providing more context. Hopefully, the bot will already understand the context. We obviously want to change uh, those entities in the Python code. Yeah, so we have the same code. The matplotlib to plot and the network X to do the structure. That's something wrong with the ChatGPT page. Is it going under? Hopefully not just right now. It's obviously eventually will. The problem is just need the code. <laughs> Might grab the code and uh, start a new chat. Because obviously it's not having a good time. Okay, this thing is... The whole page is hallucinating, not just snap okay did they change the interface again yeah i think that's what happened they must have uh, open air must have changed the interface live because before the previous uh, stuff was on the side here now it's top left and i keep changing stuff but the uh, chat is still there okay so we have a uh, main node sub node child node building graph visualization it's that size 15 okay let's just uh, run this should be taking the data. Okay, now it's running. Okay, so it's scaling quite nicely. The nodes do not move. And also, is it uh, going to be different when I reload the page? By the way, eventually we want to turn it into a web application uh, available on uh, a website hosted on Apache server. It is a budget server, but no, that's not what I said. I said Apache. I just run it again. See, yeah, it looks quite different, isn't it? So we have this graph construction. Yeah, it's always in a different position, but then can uh, reload it from here. Okay, several requirements. Well, I mean, it's okay for them to move, but uh, yeah, maybe they will be loading in the same way, but then you can uh, move them around. Graph layout should be considered each time pages reloaded yet yeah, that's not a bad idea yes loading it in the same exactly the same way every time the page is loaded and then allowing a uh, moving the nodes around as per user request also color can be improved with the javascript spring layout seed 42 how does that work how do i why do i set a random set to get consistent result Anything random sets would not yield consistent results, but what do I know? Okay, so I have a JavaScript file. The question is, how do I link them all to Kiva? Let's save that. We have the data file that has all these nodes. Don't have positions at the moment, do we? No, we do. We're already using a spring layout. We just add big seed, comment that out. Okay, we need to continue. Turn this into a Flask application first. Okay, more information on this. Okay, the website. I think it's again the uh, OpenAI website is stuck. I can't scroll through it. It will now. Yeah, give me. I didn't used to get this error messages before. This is a new one. Let's uh, wait a couple of times. See if uh, anything is happening yeah chrome is currently using like five percent of my cpu which is quite a lot considering it doesn't actually do anything at the moment yeah, is the website back no it's not back is that to restart it i think the open ai making some changes to the chat page so this is happening real time i don't know maybe the pages are just for me snap yeah, I don't know what they changed it doesn't seem like a major change but uh, yeah the response is still there yeah, we have done this multiple times before, haven't we? But we should know how to do it. Dummy data for the knowledge graph. Now the, our question is if we should turn the data text file into a JSON file. Okay, so this goes in the static directory into graph.js. can run it from here. We have the link for it. And it doesn't show anything. Okay, why not? Yeah, let's see if it has any... It's giving any errors. Probably it does. No, it does not. It's actually worse that it doesn't. No errors, but it's not showing anything. It's not showing... Anything. 
a yeah, there's some sort of integration thing. Yeah, so now the problem is the JS wasn't uh, references referenced correctly. It's actually in a different folder, but now it's also giving an error. Right, we need to load this D three JS to include it in our HTML. Okay, so this is some sort of CDN to check that that link is actually working. Okay, it is working. Copyright 2021 is another error. Trying to show a graph that actually explains AEG data processing. So it's called a knowledge graph. It's quite useful. We'll eventually make it accessible for everyone to see and use and look. Hopefully we'll be able to move these nodes around or expand on certain sections but yeah this is what the uh, generally g data involves is uh, analysis data acquisition yeah challenges feature extraction visualization machine learning integration so hopefully we will improve on this uh, graph and make it more interactive so you start with a few nodes like well maybe like this and then you can expand on some of the sections and so it helps you learn about the EG processing. I'm still having some problems with this. We actually need to run this app. So we're doing a Flask application and we don't see anything. Why? A copilot to fix this. Did it fix anything? Just change it from node to node. Okay. So node actually is there. That mean the GPT-4 was wrong. I have rendered template that's right and show the type of static files okay the other thing is where is it taking the data from this probably should be translated into a different format like json probably be ideal yeah we need to pass this file that's correct we already did this before okay how about we stop this yeah the page yeah something is happening at the uh, open ai again it's the CEO back and while the CEO was away they managed to break the site. Yeah, it keeps uh, crashing. I also have a feeling it might be using this uh, add-on for extension for ChatGPT voice control thing. Maybe we turn it off see because that's changing the page. Maybe that's where the problem was uh, coming from. It's actually finished the code. We might as well use it. Okay, so it's not suggesting a JSON file, it's suggesting going straight for dictionary or tuples. Oh, wait a second, now we should be using JavaScript uh, uh, HTML to plot. This one's using matplotlib, but it's not the Flask application. So we need to turn this into, the, into a web application. Just do full path for now. So it works. Uh, okay. So how do I integrate this with the Flask application? Going in circles, it's as if uh, it forgot the context of what it generated prior. Give me dummy stuff again. Yeah, this function. So should that point to the other Python code? Let's save that for a sec. Uh, HTML. Have console log. And this HTML doesn't work as it is, so might as well. Yeah, the open AI. That is stuck. Again, it's like the fourth time today. Probably should start a new chat because this one keep hallucinating because we restarted it several times. So far, so good. Okay, we're not getting any errors. We don't see the graph. Get graph data. Let's see if this works. Okay, it does have the nodes and everything. I don't see anything displayed on the page. T3.js is properly loaded in HTML. It's running before any other script. Okay, so we want to update the Graph.js. Move all the JS code into Graph.js and update HTML. Yeah, we have a Graph.js. It's never actually working. Okay, so we're generating a graph. Fetch graph data. Render graph this graph JS in HTML. Don't need this script anymore. We're linking to graph JS. It's in a static folder. Let's see if this still works. Yes. Let's see something it's jumping around. 
they're always the same here. Can't move them, there's no lines, there's no text. That's a good start, considering this is our first knowledge graph. It's not too bad. The graph is loading now, but it doesn't have any text. I cannot move the nodes, so how to improve this? I get the text uh, labels separately to the nodes themselves, and the nodes are not movable. Okay, so it does a kind of work. Okay, we could rewrite the data. Okay, this is working much better. I can move nodes around. There are two problems. One is that there are no lines between the nodes. And the second problem is that the text is too long and overlaps on top of one another between the different nodes. Yes, further, first of all, regarding the lines, I already have the links a constant. I guess we have to date. Yeah, ideally they will not overlap to begin with. We already have a pen text. Yes, we do. Right, this is better collision avoidance yeah i want to spread them spread them up it's just works so the function is pass the code given an error performance for large graphs this collision avoidance method may be computationally expensive consider optimizing it or using a more sophisticated algorithm for complex graphs okay so replace the output the image html plus application front panel directly into gpt4 before it said that the D3 does not have collision avoidance. Now it says it does. I don't have the padding. It's work. This padding be added to the data. Why is it not staying where it is? I need to make those uh, adaptive somehow, depending on the screen size. So it's loading always in the same way, which is good. I have the data acquisition. It's looking good so far. Yeah, we need to do more with the size of this knowledge graph. Yeah, it's kind of still it's this weird interaction bit. All the other stuff is keeps moving. Right, so it stopped moving. Still some major overlap. I don't know why it even lets me select the text. Yeah, there's a lot of improvement that can be done, but it's a good start. So see you next time.